Hello guys and welcome to another reaction of ID Invaded. Um episode five four five five um fallen. So I did do some minor updates to the notes, and by minor I mean like super minor. <laughs> I just put uh Akihito Nari his Nari Hisado is Satido in IRL. <laughs> I didn't put anything else. Um, and then these notes aren't just, they're just for me to basically just recognize people on basic terms. I'm not actually like putting all their personalities and stuff since we kind of know. And I put a Tomatsu Futada as Jodai. So I don't, so I uh, just don't keep calling them Jodai. I'll just call them Futada. That's pretty easy. And Akihito is pretty easy, I think. But yeah, last episode, pretty good. Um, that's the one with the, the dead kid live streamed. I thought that was pretty. I mean, it hurt. It hurt in the end, but uh, it was pretty fun. <laughs> like a fun, uh, you know, kind of semi relevant with the live streaming thing. Um, pretty tense because it's a hostage situation that always adds tension to it. Um, just a good time to be honest. Um, we didn't get too much development character wise and by character i just mean uh Sotaido, since it doesn't seem like any other character besides maybe um momati or hanmachi or even futada would get development i actually i really do think like the rest of the team is not, not gonna get much not even like an episode or something with them but i mean it's still really early to see we haven't even hit the halfway point but yeah, we didn't get much in development, but we did get, um, like, I feel like just possibilities of what's trying to happen, which is pretty cool. So the possibility of, um, Futada being the great detective is interesting. Um, his design looked cool, but I'm wondering, like, if they use him, how will his great detective differ from Satido? Um, because obviously Satido's personality really differs from Narisa. From, uh, from Futada. No, no, no. Satido's personality differs from, uh, from his real self, Akihito. Um, so I'm wondering, like, how much of the technology makes him? Like, how much is that, like, technology-based and how much is that, like, actual pilot-based? Um, obviously there is some pilot-based into it because, um, they did mention that he dies way too easily because he just doesn't care about living. So that's interesting. And I think this episode, we're probably down there, because they kind of left us on a little cliffhanger where, where one of uh, Futada's victims um, randomly appeared with dead fish eyes and kissed Han Machi. So I, I feel like he might be a serial, he might be like a new killer, or maybe he's trying to kill Futada in gen like himself. But I think the way it's going to go is Futada's going to be the great detective for this one and like solve help solve the crime of one of his past victims. Maybe. I I feel like that would be a very good um good, good like episode for him to be the great detective, but I guess we'll see. It's all predictions. Maybe he'll he'll be a good guy. But just from the name, um what is this episode called again? Fallen does <laughs> it does really sound like that. This guy has fallen from grace, right? Alright. Daily reaction face. What should we hit you with? I never did do the looking up thing. We'll do that. We'll go like, oh my god. And obviously we will pair that up with Kairu's dead body. <laughs> the ultimate formula for perfect reaction stuff. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap up the intro. Um, let me just try to change the audio again to Japanese. Get the subtitles going, and yeah, we are all ready to go. So on the count of three, as always, I will, uh, we will start it up. And that's when you start up your timer. Again, timer reaction, sync to the bottom, whatever. Um, or just, like, listen to the click, because even with the noise cancelling, I, I think I'll, like, I emphasize the click, you know. And it was round up from three. Three, two, one, go.
I know, don't go, don't go, don't go. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed enter instead of spacebar. I'm sorry. Restart your, restart your video. My bad. Here we go, real, real time. Three, two, one, go. We're good. Starting right off with the kiss. Don't mind that. That's just me making sure we don't lay it. My hair's like extra messy. Because it came out of the shower as per usual. It's like we're leg free ish, so that's good. Okay, nothing more happened. <laughs> Maybe he just lights her. Uh huh. I mean, what do you know about her being a victim? I guess it'd be in, like, in the news or something. Yeah, That wound is brutal. <laughs> is there, like, no way to fill it up or something? <laughs> Blushing from the chest. I just don't naturally fill up. I mean, obviously, I haven't gotten a... A whole drill to my head, but recently I did get a couple skin taints burned off, and they like burn off, and there's like a dent in your head, which was like half half successful because on my head there used to be one that was really nasty. You can't see it, but they fucked up on my arm, and it just never went back. But see, this used to be a skin tape, and now it's like I don't think it. It's not a skin tape anymore. It's more like a a cyst or something. I'm sorry, you probably didn't want to see that. Um. <laughs> I got distracted, dude. It's all right. This this series is pretty, pretty graphic. So what's what's a little more graphicness to the party? You know, you feel me. I'm feeling better about uh like last episode. I felt I was commentating a lot better. I'm definitely easing up into the commentary now. I'm getting used to talking over people and stuff. Though I, I try not to. Obviously, important scenes, but um, yeah. This sounds great. I still really enjoy it. We'll have to wait until the end of the series if I decide to actually add it to my playlist. You know, no offense to the ending, but that's not even on the contention to add to my playlist. But this, this definitely could. I didn't see it, even though I don't listen to my Spotify playlist anymore. <laughs> Hi, Fukada. Okay. Hole and head gained. Oh, his goes all the way through. How is that even possible? Mm. Good question. She looks like she's like 15. Obviously, she's like 20s. Yeah. Yo, she's my age. <laughs> 23 Dane, rise up. I mean, I'd be f weirded out too if some guy kisses you that has a hole in his head. Maybe he, he's just attracted to other people with holes in their heads, you know? <laughs> hmm. Okay. That's right, we didn't catch the grave digger. He was just a fake. A cheap fake. I bet the real grave digger doesn't use a recording. He's brave. You telling me he's the grave digger? No way, dude. That'd be hilarious. The grave digger that kidnaps by another serial killer and gets his head drilled in. 
That's fucking hilarious. It's Tarma. Literally Tarma. Huh. Honestly, I was expecting the Grave Digger to come back like a couple episodes later. Maybe. As like a reoccurrence. Well, not a real reoccurrence, but you know. I guess it made sense because the Grave Digger has been a little inactive, I think. Because he got his head drilled in. Also, if you notice, it's a little lighter in here. I turned on the second lamp light. <laughs> Hopefully it's better. It looked fine on recording, but on the actual video, it's a little dark. This is a good point. We know that there's never been particles in any of the Grave Digger's killings. Oh, okay. I guess we don't know the timeline, but so has the grave digger killing started when he, um, after he got his head drilled in? Okay. We don't really know when time passes, so yeah, so that's a dude, this is hilarious. So his brain basically got messed up from the drill, <laughs> which gave him a better way to be undetective. She's a really good detective, is what I bet he was gonna say. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay, I think I confused myself. I understand now. So it's definitely before he got drilled. <laughs> I'm a little confused, but... Let's just roll, roll with it, Satido already, dude. We're fall, free falling. Give me a good Kairu shot. Last one was a little stuffed. Kairu! Pretty normal death, to be honest. Oh. Looks like a stab wound. Lots of blood, though. <laughs> yeah, she died from a stab wound. So. Yeah. Is this in response to the ID they created from Grave Digger or no? Wouldn't really make sense. Physics? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I see what he's saying now. Oh, yeah, it does look painted now, like brushed. I see it now. That's why it looked so weird when we came in. Oh, that was easy. Two eyes. Okay. The lads putting in work besides the useless diet. <laughs> All right, so it is, yeah, obviously it is. I just got a little confused. Like, why is it free falling? But, you know, last one was like all the burning stuff. So even though it was the buried alive stuff. Okay. We do know a bit about the soy sauce uh, ways. Soy sauce making process. At least I know a bit. Oh, so I didn't write that guy's down. Name down. He's a field detective too, right? We saw him in like two episodes. He's probably talking about the drill guy. <laughs> That's a super scary monster, maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a pic of him. So he's always had dead fish eyes. Just rocking it. Hmm. Good deduction. Radhead putting in work. Toto, I remember. <laughs> oh. I don't know. It's so confusing. I still th I, so I guess it is after he got drilled. It's just there's no indication of time, so it's hard to tell, but it could be like a couple months since then. True. Pick one that looks like you. <laughs> Nah. So basically, the guy, the guy kills for love, and when he wants to, and when he wanted to kill like on the spot without thinking, he let out a kiss, because he kills for love. Okay, I get it. Oh, he's fighting John Walker, not Joe Die. It's been a while since we saw John Walker. Oh. No. Do it. I mean, I guess it made sense. Uh, sorry, epic fight going on. This time he got skills. All right. Still looks like a uh, president guy. <laughs> but 
But what I was going to say is the drill guy also met with John Walker, so or some, his memories had John Walker, so it made sense one of the victims connected to the drill guy had it. And by drill guy, I mean Futado. Futodo? I keep... Yeah, you know. Okay. Uh, prepare your stomach. Feel like there's gonna be something nasty. Ooh. Oh, it was a trap. Maybe that's John Walker's trap, not a... Uh... Seems a little advanced. Oh no. Okay, well. I guess maybe I didn't need to remember that guy. Because he just died. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, this guy is actually us. I mean, I guess we should have thought he was super smart. If he said, you know, this live stream stuff and haven't been caught yet, so. She's creepy. What if they're working together? Like, what if he's killing all these people for... For her? Which is obvious. Or forever who he loves. But what if the person he loves is, like, kind of fucked up, you know? And what actually, like, requested him to kill people? Maybe. Acquaintances. <laughs> She's creepy, dude. I don't know about it. <laughs> Bad vibes.
all the knives are gone. Or, yeah, those are knives. Kind of weird shapes, but it's a little sketch. I, th I think it's like, by sketch, I mean it's like 95% sure that she's a partner, actually. Or a manipulator, maybe. Twenty-seven. Get stopped. Ooh. How can you resist the dead fish eyes? I get that vibe too. Or maybe she's not even manipulating. Maybe he just knows. Ooh. It's a nice, nice hit. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. On. Mm. It's a freaking cliffhanger, dude. I didn't know this was a two parter. That's okay. That's good. I was a little confused on, um,. The whole love thing and how that was affecting like how he was kind of doing opposite stuff but i get it now i guess we'll learn more about the relationship after i guess i should talk after the ending that was good we got some development from everyone you know everyone doing the job except for uh it's the same freaking guy dude i swear he never does anything in any episode He's like taught like three times. He's the guy with the bluish hair that's like um also kind of has dead fish eyes. That's like next to um Togo usually. <laughs> I don't know why this picture is so good. Just uh Futudo. <laughs> Freaking galaxy around him, dude. So obviously we're not getting my prediction that Futuru is going to be the detective here. Even though it would have been kind of fitting, but... Hmm, he's chilling. So this is the manifestation of uh, the girlfriend. I don't know. Interesting. That was a good episode. I mean, as per usual, I don't think I've had a, a really bad episode. Besides maybe episode three. Not because it was bad, just because the video late. <laughs> but no, um, this was cool. Um, I then stumbled a little bit, but we, we, we got the gist of it. So basically, we have... um. I forgot his name, <laughs> as per usual, but, uh, Drill, Dr Drill Boy, since we already have a Drill Guy, um, 
his emotions kind of got scrambled up because his brain got scrambled up. So now he kills for love. Or does that even mean? No, I think he always killed for love, maybe. And it's just that his the kiss thing was because he got scrambled up. I'm not, I'm not completely sure which one. I don't think it matters too much. But basically, super sadistic girl. Um as seen when she was smiling at her wound and wiping it off and stuff. Um, so he's killing and for her so she can watch the show. Now the question is, what is their relationship and why is he doing that? If they've like never kissed or if um if they're not really dating yet or something, because I don't know why. But I guess we'll just figure that out. Um, the world was pretty interesting. I think visually it was less maybe I, I mean most of the focus was in the outside world this time probably like three-fourths when it's usually closer to a half and half split um but i mean the you you get some badass john john walker fighting this time he wasn't just chilling he was actually uh fighting and i do think it's it is because um well, maybe not. I mean, the connection we have is that um, both uh, Futuro and Drill Boy have uh, have interacted. So that's why I thought maybe John Walker has also interacted with him. But I guess we still don't have an answer. But that was cool. It was a cool mini fight scene. Got a, got a pot shot in. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to make the joke, but I was, I was trying to hold it because I didn't want to interrupt the fight scene. So we had to wait until the end to say it. Um, yeah, what? Okay, I have my note up. What's this man's name? Kokufu. This man has done zero. Everyone has done something. Um, honestly, Wakashita has didn't do much this episode, but I'm I'm noticing a lot more of Habute. Habute and Wak Wakashita are doing a lot of work. Shirataka. You know, he does work when he can, but not, but yeah, I mean, those three actual workers, Togo sometimes does stuff. I mean, Momo, Momoki just watches, he's the administrator, but literally Kokufu can get trimmed because he has done Jack. But yeah, this was obviously more a uh, Hondamachi centered episode. She has very good detecting skills, you know, piecing t together pieces like really Good. That's what Matsuoka probably wanted to compliment her on. I mean, I guess she wants to also be the great detective. I can definitely see her getting getting a chance because she's really good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I wouldn't have gotten the whole love thing. Obviously, the the girlfriend or whatever was like super sus, but they were showing a lot of visual clues too, right? Like the empty knife knife holder and the weird smile her weird um deflections and stuff but yeah it's a two-parter dude it's a two-parter but it doesn't have like two-parter in the title which isn't which is why i didn't notice hmm. well i think I, I like i said good stuff um i don't really have too much to say in this episode i just like rating we can't really like rate the villain or whatever yet without seeing the finale and getting the full picture so yeah, I mean, we seem to be in a dominant position because we have guns and Drill Boy only has a knife, but gotta be careful. He might, he might turn it around, and I mean, if we got a whole episode focused on him, then, um, because I doubt they'll just do half and half. No, they, they definitely can't fit another half, so. So he's probably gonna escape or something, but yeah cool stuff i think that again this the highlight of this episode is just focusing on honda machi and um her potential to be a really good detective even if she never does become the great detective she's really carrying the the field field stuff this episode also rest in peace uh <laughs> that guy taught in the fire maybe he lived um but uh yeah i was like dude we saw this guy like in episode 
three and four, but I, I didn't end up writing his name, and then he just dies in this episode once we uh, mention him. Rip, rip you, guy. But yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it up for this reaction next time. We'll check out Circled and see see where that takes us. Hopefully everything... I mean, we already got a casualty, Mr. No Name, my favorite guy. My favorite character who has no name. Um, so yeah, hopefully it goes smoothly. Probably won't be. Probably we'll need to jump into some more some more IDs, just, you know. I mean, we should jump into more. Um, there's no way you can have a idealist episode, because IDs are always fun to do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um... And then if you haven't subbed, sub, sub, dude, sub it up for more reactions. Um, and then this is released every 2 p.m. EST, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, four times a week. Lots of action, mainly because we don't really have another reaction series going. So we're just we'll just run it through, you know. Also, you know, liking the video, like the video if you liked it. Um. And if you have any comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.